Um, I know it has been a bit rushed to get this up, but we have been working with uh, a lot of uh, major uh, advisory boards and um, consultancy firms recently over the last couple of weeks uh, since the pandemic started, and we've been following it as well. And uh, uh, over last just last couple of days, things have advanced um, quite majorly um, in UK and also globally. And uh, we just want, we have been receiving overwhelming number of uh, opportunities. So we wanted to share as Open Consulting has always done. We have always been transparent and shared things out with um, everybody else in the community. So right now we are just uh, running an introductory session to just go through what we have found till now uh, on the type of projects which are coming in and uh, what is the uh, possibility. I'm not saying that this is the whole picture. I'm just saying this is the starting point wherein we all can get started. Uh, this is just an introductory session for next 30 minutes. If uh, I can request you to hold on your questions, we're not taking any questions right now. Just post the questions either in the WhatsApp groups, feel free to do it or uh, send it directly to me. You, everybody must have my WhatsApp number as well. Just send it out directly. And uh, uh, at nine o'clock, we will have um, a just Q&A call. At that point, we can actually have uh, proper questions and answers discussed, anything which has not been answered. So let me get started. I don't want to take uh, much time into this. And so basically COVID-19 is, is affecting everybody across the globe. And uh, as every, every adversity brings in some kind of opportunity out there. And what we have found is that um, a lot of us are right now working from home and uh, there is a huge population which is actually working outside just serving the country which is probably on the front line or maybe doctors nhs you must have already seen the amount of volunteers which nhs has received uh, in last couple of days over 400000 people have agreed to volunteer for it and uh, this has to go beyond NHS, what we have been looking at is uh, rebuilding beyond this lockdown period of 21 days, uh, looking at um, in 45 days period, how things will change, looking at um, other countries around the world, looking at the case studies from Wuhan as to how that country has, that city has started opening up and what will be actually happening uh, over there. And we're just sharing all of the findings from that and also sharing what are the possible opportunities. So they, uh, it's time to rebuild essentially and rethink everything that we have been uh, accustomed to. So there's been a lot of opportunities to transpose and repurpose as well. Let me talk about it. The large impact of pandemics will have um, cascading, cascading effects in every industry, business and individuals. We, in UK, we have already seen this happening, wherein, uh, take an example of uh, restaurants. Pretty much all the restaurants have been closed down. Even after a couple of um, weeks, when the restaurants are allowed to open, people will not li like to go in there because of uh, overcrowding issues. Um, other businesses are impacted. Every potential business which required people to come together, say supermarkets, malls, um, movie theaters, all those are affected and will be affected for a very long, long duration. When it comes to individuals, people like us, most of us are contractors because we're coming from contractor forums and uh, there are individuals outside who are highly paid. And what will happen is this pandemic is bringing in a recession with it. That recession, if not properly managed by the government, is going to cut off the top highly paid people. And the reason for that is if the companies can't afford to keep its staff, it will try to skim out the most expensive ones. Most of the time, that's what happens. And uh, in some businesses will have either a short-term um, impact and some businesses are going to have a very long-term impact on them. And we are going to share those things as well. Um, there are some sectors which are overburdened, like NHS. Um, security security system um, there is a lot of burden on uh, uh, policing and uh, also management of critical staff 
and then comes the part of there will be a lot of less demand in a lot of other sector areas just like car sales or um, take another example it could be banking branches those kind of things so in all those scenarios why open consulting or what makes us stand out in this is we have got in this group itself we have got people who have got more than 15 20 years of experience and they are at a leadership level and we have got a lot of contacts which are at the top level as well we are a strong professional trusted network we have been working through so many clients and we have been into a trusted position all through and uh, we are well versed with the new edge technologies like um, on the edge monitoring and also tracking and a lot of other things we have already been um, on the edge already and we have got understanding from multiple point of views not just looking at a solution from the technology endpoint also looking at uh, from all around that's what uh, brings us and makes us a strong partner and also is our capability to build build teams execute and deliver even in tough times that's what exactly open consulting has been doing for over many years now and uh, what are the services that we are offering to the community is there are opportunities the opportunities to transpose or repurpose the existing infrastructure or the industries That's what we are bringing in. Our college graduates who were who came up with a startup idea, they went through a venture capitalist. It used to take three to six months just to get the first level of funding. Through our network, now we are able to tap into the family houses who have got multiple other businesses and they are willing to do something for the community. This is far beyond money now. This is for the humanitarian cause. This is for the whole community. The what COVID-19 has brought us together. And they are willing to put money in, even on a two week or three week period, they can get the money in place for a startup. But they're not willing to put money out for a startup which is started by a fresher or just a fresh graduate. They want to have somebody who has got experience either in building business or management community or who comes from a bigger banks, a bigger organization where they have managed transitions from one phase to another phase. A typical example would be that um, in smaller countries where people have not yet started doing online banking is uh, we can take our experience from UK wherein a lot of challenger banks have come up recently and they have actually uh, pretty much delivered what exactly the same thing a traditional bank in the branch uh, method used to do take an example Charlie bank you can open a business account in less than 24 account 24 hours in uk which is not even possible uh, um, which was not even possible long before and with hsbc it took me actually 28 days to take an appointment and get an account open so there is a lot of technical opportunities which are possible and a lot of business opportunities opportunities um, what we are bringing to the table is we have got contacts with the venture capitalist and investment houses which can provide the funding another thing that we are bringing in is alliance so a simple example on that is that uh, there are a lot of businesses which are going um, which will be going under or essentially they will be struggling a lot take a simple example of um, a travel website Say, I'm just giving an example over here. Uh, say, Trivago. Right? Trivago has got a major infrastructure for doing travel booking. They've got uh, call centers, they have got uh, cloud network. The problem is the whole travel industry across the globe is now impacted. Now, what can Trivago do? They can, they have to keep their staff, they have to keep the infrastructure. They cannot just say, okay, tomorrow you're going to, um, remove 50% of our capacity. 
what we are doing is we are doing strategic allowance alliances with companies like Chivago who have got infrastructure to do say travel bookings or management and we can retranspose it to say education industry can we repurpose their staff and their infrastructure to do something completely different that doesn't mean that they have to close down their travel business it just means that they can start online education business it's just a out of the finger out of the box ex, um, example and that's what open consulting brings into the table what you guys bring in is the leadership either full time part time also you can be actually an investor so if you have got some money and you have got a brilliant idea then we can bring it everything else to the table you can bring in the idea you can become the leader you can be a co owner of that idea and we can facilitate things for you guys let's look at a couple of things that couple of industries that we have um, catered for and that's what we have been doing the search for last two and a half weeks and uh, this is where we have been interacting with the top ceos cfos um, and top owners of the businesses as well looking on the left side these are the sectors which we have identified as the sectors which will be impacted to go lesser in demand things like hotel hotels hospitality restaurants where people have to go for dining night clubs bars business processing outsourcing travel um, a lot of them uh, these industries will be going down because of covid-19 and people will not be coming on in together on the right hand side we have got we have identified a lot of sectors which will be now in higher demand we have already seen the demand for healthcare where nhs is over stretched uh, for medical equipment you have, you must have already seen in the news that uh, government is asking rolls royce to start making ventilators because that is what is in demand and we don't want to rely on the supply chain from china anymore if we can develop things locally also we have got daily needs like the groceries and uh, food supply chain those things needs to be there and then anything which comes out from even a takeaway shop needs to be now sanitized in their packaging so the packaging and printing industry is completely going to be revamped and then if the schools cannot have kids sitting together close by they will have to start doing things online schools is just one aspect of the education then comes colleges universities researchers everybody has to move to online education and a lot of online awareness needs to go out Uh, I think in one of the contractor groups, uh, Shailesh introduced today about uh, his idea of creating an app, and uh, we have already seen a lot of demand actually for tracking and security devices, similar to what uh, Wuhan has or China has already developed an app where you can have a green, orange, and red light um, indicator on your phone. Green indicates that you are free to go on the street. Red indicates you are affected and you should be quarantined. And yellow is based upon our data analytics we have found out that you have been in touch with somebody who has been tested positive so that means you should be self quarantining so that is just one of the tracking and security solutions which is possible but along with that comes in a lot of regulations regarding personal security data privacy and how much information can be shared so there has been there will be a massive change coming over in all of these industry and uh, already we have seen a massive peak in the cloud services like uh, zoom are being used pretty much every day for all of our conferences and uh, talks that we are doing right now so this is just few of the sectors which we have identified and just sharing it with you openly with everybody uh looking at the pipeline what is in play right now the first thing that is immediate action required and there have been a lot of projects which are going on so when i say project these are not your typical let me write a software kind of projects these are end to end solutions we are talking about and that is to control the pandemic and collection of data that's the most important and highest priority right now another thing is healthcare and essential supply chain those are the top priorities right now which are 
are coming up. And we have seen a lot of projects coming in that direction. And if you are thinking of delivering a project, you need to make sure that your project, if it is covering this area, it needs to be delivered pretty much within 21 days or 45 days. So we are looking at off the shelf projects. Can we just uh, look for something on GitHub or maybe off the shelf, we can repackage it and we can deliver a solution around it. Another thing where we have seen a, a massive requirement is coming in employment and online education, where we, the government has already announced that they will cover up to 80% of, uh, of your salary up to 2,500. But that's not sufficient because a lot of self-employed people, they are pretty much going uh, out of work because they were previously paying themselves a salary of 725 pounds, the bare minimum. So 80% is what they can cover back and they are out of employment. There is a lot of employment for which is required for the people who are sitting at home. So can we start up schools which could be running completely from home? I'm not talking tuition centers, I'm talking about proper schools. Um, there are a lot of other industries which are possible you know, with the health regulations. So things like sanitization or uh, making sure the food which has been delivered to your house is completely checked to be coronavirus free. There are a lot of other restructuring and uh, projects on revival of economy. These are kind of midterm to long-term projects where we are talking about three-month to two-year projects. And more other industries uh, will be popping up now. And uh, we have also seen a lot of other projects coming in the health and safety and security measures wherein, um, say, David Beckham wants to have a meeting with all of his uh, uh, partners or business partners, he wants to make sure that uh, all of his business partners are coming in clean from their previous interactions with all the other previous meetings that they had for the last 14 days. How can he ensure that, that everybody who is entering into that meeting is um, virus free? Or can he go into a, another meeting, ensuring that it's all safe and secure? And then comes uh, the point of even if everybody has been checked for security, is the premises clear to enter? And then we have got a lot of other areas coming on, uh, like social events. There will be hardly any gigs planned anymore for musical shows and things, because you can imagine the risk of uh, catching up a virus. So this is just a typical example which of uh, project requirement, which we have received from one of the very affluent client. And uh, they want to provide facilities so we are not talking just software here. We are talking about hardware, um, processes, procedures, putting in the security policies, and everything around it. Wherein um, I'll just read it through: providing facilities and services to the families. So these are affluent families need who want to get their offices started again, and they want high level of security and health measures. Wherein hygiene of meeting rooms can be provided close family can get together for meetings and with health awareness as to who is um, affected or clear or they have recovered tracking of family members um, either using gps or whatever other mechanisms and then um, meeting record with whom they are meeting as well bringing all those things in short high-tech systems along with all possible precautions as people can't avoid meeting other people within family members as well as close friends and close business community. So this is just one example project which we are already working on. So I've rushed through this whole presentation. This was just to bring you an introduction. So what are the next steps? Um, I would say if you have got an idea or if you would like to help us or work on something, um, just put a proposal together. It might be just one paragraph not more than one page or a slide because we are literally getting a lot of ideas coming in together. If you're putting together a solution, think of a complete solution. Don't just think I am a AWS or Amazon cloud architect and I can just think on those grounds. Think end to end as to how that solution will be delivered and how it will be deployed. We can help you get the financing. We can help you get the infrastructure. We can help you with everything else, but if you are thinking of solution, you need to think end to end 
and then we can work with you to refine that idea and put it forward. Open Consulting is going to refine and mediate and will help you to present it to financial investors and strategic partners. Uh, if previously you were thinking of creating a startup and uh, you were probably blocked by, I don't have enough time, this is the best time because we are looking at projects to start within a couple of weeks or maximum a month. If you were previously stuck because I don't have enough money, we are going to lead you to the people who can fund your investment. Of course, they will be taking their equity. If you were previously thinking that um, I don't have enough idea, but I have got enough experience where I can guide other people into project management or management consultancies, then we definitely require people like you. Or if you have worked with the uh, say a bigger corporation which has already gone through a change in themselves say hsbc when they started first direct first direct was a complete online bank which was in parallel to hsbc so can we do the same thing for say bank of ghana in south africa which is also sorry south africa wherever bank of ghana is and can we do that for them uh, starting a completely new bank so think on those grounds and see if there's something that is possible. We are hosting another session at 9 p.m. today. So if you have any questions, feel free to submit those questions either in group or you can submit them privately. We'll collect those questions and we'll try to answer them as much as possible. When I say we, it's not just me or the core team of Open Consulting. We have got a lot of other business owners with whom we are discussing these ideas and we are working with on a daily basis. We The next meeting we have got uh, with the advisory board and uh, the investor community is on Friday morning. So we are just collecting everything that we can right now before we start presenting things and uh, shortlisting the ideas and start working towards them from this weekend itself. That's just a brief. If you don't have the WhatsApp number, these are the contact details for Open Consulting. Feel free to make a note of it. Uh, just send in a WhatsApp message. And just one thing I would like to reiterate, a couple of guys have, must be thinking, what if Open Consulting steals my idea, goes out and sells it to other people? Most of you guys know us quite well for last five years. And if any of you ever knows that open consulting has made even a single penny from you guys then shout out and let everybody else know <laughs> because open consulting works on complete trust that we have built with this community for last five years even if when you produce your idea we will put in all the legal framework around it so that when we help you to, pre to present that idea to the investors we will make sure that your idea is not is completely protected and it is not copied by somebody else. We will try to make sure, hoping that your idea is really genuine and you have not copied that idea from somebody else. <laughs> so thanks for joining guys. Uh, we 